morning students let us begin the next chapter motion force and work now see observe the figures which are given here now in the first picture we can see the man riding a horse in the second picture the cow is grazing the grass in third case a man is seen pulling the cart and in the fourth case there is a pressure cooker and the milk utensil on the gas we observe that here in this case in the first three pictures there is a motion whereas in the fourth picture the pressure cooker and the utensils they are at rest so now let us recall what is meant by motion the change in position of an object is called as motion and what causes the change in motion the force causes a change in motion unless and until the force acts on an object the object cannot move thus we can see that a change occurs in the motion or the shape of a body when a force acts on it now let us see how work is done when a force acts now here in the figure from this figure we have to understand the difference between distance and displacement now the ranjit's house is at place a the figure alongside shows the distance traversed traversed by ranjit in order to reach his school at d if we do not take direction into account we find that ranjit travels a distance equal to ab plus bc plus cd however on doing this his displacement is equal to ad so what we can say that distance it is the length of the route actually traversed by the body in moving from one place to another irrespective of the direction uh, direction so thus distance it is a scalar quantity now the initial position of the ranjit is a and the final position is d so the minimum distance traversed by a moving body in one direction from original point to reach the final point is called displacement in displacement both distance and direction are taken into account therefore displacement is a vector quantity now the unit of measurement of distance and displacement are is in the meter in the si as well as in the mk system of measurement now same way here we will see the difference between speed and velocity now what is meant by speed now speed is the distance traveled now the next question is what is meant by speed speed is the distance traveled by an object in unit time now what is the formula for calculating speed speed is given by distance upon time when we say that the speed of the car is 40 km per hour there is no need to specify the direction but to predict whether the storm will reach a particular place or not a mention of its direction is essential now here next we will see what do you mean by velocity now velocity is the distance traversed by the body in a particular direction in unit time the velocity of the body can be calculated by the following formula velocity is given by displacement upon period of time required for the displacement thus we see that display this speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity speed is given by distance upon time and velocity is given by displacement upon time that is a period of time for the displacement 
Now in this table, let us find out the unit of speed and velocity. Now first thing is that we have to write down the formula. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Velocity is equal to distance upon time. Now the unit, uh, write the units of the quantities. Distance is equal to meter. Time period is equal to seconds. Displacement is meter. Time period is also equal to seconds. Insert the units instead of quantities in the formula. Now here the unit of speed will be meter per second and that of displacement will also be meter uh, or that of velocity will also be meter per second. Let us now use the above formula to find out Ranjit's velocity and the speed when he goes to school as shown in the figure 7.2. Now the actual distance traversed by Ranjit from home to school is equal to AB plus BC plus CD. So that is 500 plus 700 plus 300 that is 1500 meters. Now total time from home to school is equal to 8 minutes plus 11 minutes plus 6 minutes that is equal to 25 minutes. Now the Ranjit's displacement from home to school that is AD is equal to 1000 meters. Thus Ranjit's velocity when going home from home to school this is equal to displacement upon total time that is 1000 upon 25 that is 40 upon 60 that is 0 0.66 meter per second. Now Ranjit's speed while going to school is equal to distance traversed upon total time that is 1500 meters upon 25 minute that is 60 meters upon 60 seconds that is equal to 1 meter per second. Rajin did not take the straight route of minimum distance while going to the school. Therefore, the magnitude of the velocity and the speed came out to be different. Had Ranjit actually gone by the straight route AD, then the magnitude of the velocity and the speed would have been the same. Now, next let us find out the average velocity and instantaneous velocity. The velocity of an object can change even while it is moving along to a straight line. Suppose that the truck is covering a distance of 40 kilometers from A to D in a straight line. That is, its displacement will be 40 kilometer. If it requires altogether 1 hour for this, its average velocity is 40 km per hour. However, if the truck traverses 10 km distance AB in 10 minutes, BC in 20 minutes and CD in 30 minutes, then the velocity for the distance AB in km per hour is equal to 10 upon 10 minutes that is 60 km upon 60 minutes that is 60 km per hour. Now deduce the velocity for the distances BC and CD. We see that the velocity of the truck is different in different segments of the road AB, BC and CD. However, the average velocity for the entire route is 40 km per hour. The velocity at a particular moment of time is called as instantaneous velocity. The instantaneous velocity can be different at different times. Now let us next see what do you mean by acceleration. Now in the previous example, the truck covered the distance AB at the speed of 60 km per hour, BC at 30 km per hour and CD at 40 km per hour. It means that the velocity for the distance CD is greater than the velocity for the distance BC. 
from the number of seconds required for this change in velocity to take place the change in velocity per second can be deduced this is called acceleration now what is the cause of the acceleration whenever there is a change in velocity then there is a acceleration so acceleration is given by change in velocity upon time taken to change you know that the truck driver increases or decreases the velocity of the truck by means of the accelerator you might have seen a toy car that runs on the clockwork spring when it is released on a flat floor after winding up the spring it goes in a straight line however when it is hit on one side it changes direction and keeps going if it collides into a wall it stops it means that its velocity changes how did this change take place it happens because the car comes into contact with something external to it on a football ground how does the direction of the ball moving in a straight line change we see some player changing its direction by kicking it when its direction changes the velocity of the ball changes that is to say an acceleration takes place now the unit of acceleration is meter per second square now force and acceleration now let us take a glass marble and let it roll on a big smooth table top after some time the velocity will decrease and it will stop on the carom board too the carom coin pushed by a striker pushed by a striker will move forward some distance and then come to a stop if the coin is pushed after applying talcum powder to the carom board it will keep moving for a longer time and then come to a stop now what does we infer from this now what happens here earlier if for the first striker when it moves that time the talcum powder is not there the surface of the carom board is rough and so it takes time to move when the talcum powder is applied the surface becomes smooth and the striker will move for a longer time so thus we see that the velocity of the coin decreases due to the force of friction and the coin stops if the friction between the carom board and the coin is reduced the coin keeps moving for a longer time it would mean that if no force of friction is acting on a body it will keep on moving with a constant velocity